Hello and welcome back to UK Highland Photography here on YouTube, the channel dedicated to helping you to become a better photographer. Today we're going to be talking about what grey cards are in photography. So let's begin. Grey cards in photography can either one, help the photographer to get more accurate exposures with regards to the photographs, or two, it can help the photographer set more accurate colours with regards to their white balance in photo editing software such as Lightroom, for example. Now, let's have a look at working examples then. Here we can see my best model, Bob. Now, the reason why Bob is my best model is because Bob never complains, never needs to take breaks, and never asks for payment. So that is why Bob is my best model. Now, as you can see, this photograph of Bob was taken using the light meter built into my DSLR. Now, as photographers, we know that the light meters built into our DSLRs can sometimes be fooled and give us the wrong settings, which is why on this occasion, Bob looks kind of dark. So what I done with the grey card was I got the grey card and I placed it in front of Bob's face. And then I adjusted the light meter within my DSLR until it was smack bang in the middle whilst working in line with the grey card. Then I pressed the button and this is what I got. As you can see, Bob now looks so much more clearer and brighter. As a matter of fact, the grey card has allowed a full stop more amount of light into the actual DSLR. So this means that when I use the grey card, I have actually, in fact, doubled the amount of light being allowed into my DSLR. Now let's move on to the next working example then. This is how we photographers use our grey cards to adjust the white balance in photo editing software such as Lightroom. I decided to take this photograph of myself, but the problem is that I would shot this photograph on a totally wrong setting. I would shot this photograph on an incandescent white balance setting, which has now made me look blue. As you can see, the entire image has a blue shoe tint to it. Now what I could have done is I could have changed my white balance in my camera to fix this but to be honest with you guys I could not be bothered. So what I did was I imported this photograph into Lightroom and then I simply picked up the paint dropper tool and I clicked on the actual grey card that I was holding within the actual photograph and hey presto as you can see the photograph is now became more accurate colours to the ones that I actually wanted in the first place when I actually took the photograph. So there you go people, there was our introduction into what grey cards are and what they can be used for in photography. Remember to subscribe to the channel and when you get the time check out our online shop over at www.ukhighland.com.